Kelly Nauru has been careful to maintain a close link between the people and the governor's office. Every Wednesday, he meets with anyone who wants to discuss issues of concern outside the Morabe Provincial Government Office. As the new governor of one of Papua New Guinea's biggest provinces, his challenges span from dealing with ethnic disharmony to fending off demands by his voters. This afternoon, he called on Morabeans to be more responsible as 2012 draws to a close. Plan is something you stretch him long, outline long you yet. Talk talk long, bright price. Na talk talk long, school fee. Na talk talk long, compensation. Na talk talk long, money die. Na talk talk long, bus fare. Na sheep fare. Na balus fare. Na talk talk long, lili lili something long, body long, help him you yet. All get a desla something. Please long, 2013, you lose him behind. Kelly Naru's struggle is a reality in Papua New Guinea politics where demands are placed on politicians to be both competent tribal leaders and Westminster-style politicians. For the governor of Morobe, it's a delicate balance between maintaining voter satisfaction and the high ideals of a political office. This block and passing long, putting plenty pressure long member, I am making member, he run away and I stop long way. Long people, now this block kind is a come up him heavy. As 2012 draws to a close and 2013 begins, Nauru hopes the Morabe provincial government won't have to deal with compensation demands, requests for repatriation of dead bodies, and requests for school fees. But the governor says one thing will remain the same next year, and that's the Wednesday meetings he holds with anybody wishing to talk about real issues. Scott Wyde, National MTV News, Lee.